In an earlier lesson, when we were first finding out about data frames, we saw that we could construct data frames out of a series of vectors. What we didn't probably notice or perhaps glossed over is that when we do this, the vectors of character strings are automatically turned into factors. If they're numbers, they remain numbers, but if they're character strings, they get converted. This can be good or bad. I'm going to start by creating these two vectors, a vector for the group and the number of legs that the members of that group have. And if I look up here, I can see that group is character string, number of legs is numeric vector. But when I read them into a data frame, and we look at the characteristics of the data frame, we can see that the group, which is read in from the character vector, has actually been turned into a factor. This behavior of automatically turning character string vectors into factors applies when we read them in from CSV files, as well as if we create them directly from the vectors within R. That is, if we use the function read.csv. When numbers are imported from CSV files, they are imported as number vectors, but they don't get read in as factors. This is an automatic behavior. It, it again has to do with the historical orientation of R towards statistics. If we would prefer not to have our character uh, vectors being read in as factors, we can use the as character function to convert them from factors back into char character strings. The other option is instead of using read.csv, we can use the read our library and use read underscore CSV. That will read them in as tibbles instead of as a regular data frame. And when character string vectors are read in as tibbles, they are not automatically turned into factors. In this example, we are going to read in a file from the internet. This is a some data from the Cockroach Elector Retinogram experiment, which we talked about in the introductory lessons. Let's go ahead and read this in with read.csv. Here we can see what it looks like. We have a column called grouping, which is our grouping variable, another column called height. If we want to know more about the nature of those things, we can drop this down and see that the grouping variable has been turned into a factor as we predicted. We can also see that by explicitly displaying that column, and we see again, it has levels, so we know that this is a factor. And if we ask the class of that column, it tells us it is a factor. If we look at the height column, we can see that it's a vector of numbers. If we ask what its type is, it is a numeric vector. We can change that factor back into a vector of characters using the as character function. Now if we compare the column that has the factor in it with a column that we turned into a vector, we can see that it does not list the levels and instead it has quotation marks around each of the values in that column. And if we ask what the class is of that, it's no longer a factor, instead it's a vector of characters. If we load the read R library and then read this table in as a tibble, now if we display what is in the tibble, we see that it's not a factor, it's rather a vector of character strings and a vector of numbers. Even though if we look at it, it looks basically the same as the data frame.